I have a huge yard and on top of that, I have a ton of trees. Now I love the space and privacy of a bigger lot. Don't get me wrong, but fall leaf cleanup is not a weekend chore for me. It's a part-time job. If you're struggling to stay ahead of the leaves in your own yard, I might be able to give you some tips and tricks that actually work and will save you a ton of time. I'm going to show you my three-step process for fall leaf cleanup, talk about the tools that I use, and let you know what works for me and what doesn't. And all the products I'm using in this video are linked in the video description. If you want more information, I got you covered. Step one is leaf blower work. The first thing I like to do is get the leaves away from the house. Every property is a little bit different as far as where the leaves like to collect and hang out. For me, it's my front decks and flower beds. Something about the way the wind blows and how the house is situated, I don't know, but I can guarantee there will always be a pile of leaves on my deck. I'm using my steel backpack leaf blower for this and I highly recommend the most powerful blower you can get if you have a large yard. Gas or electric, just get a big one. The most powerful blowers are the backpack style blowers versus the handheld ones. I have a steel BR600 and when I bought it, it was the most powerful blower in the steel lineup. 10 years later, it's no longer the top dog, but I highly recommend trying to stretch your budget in order to future-proof yourself a little bit. If I had tried to save some money back when I bought my house and only sprung for a mid-tier blower, by today's standards, 10 years later, it would seem weak and I'd want to replace it. By buying the top of the line 10 years ago, even by today's standards, it's a fairly strong blower. Are there more powerful blowers? Heck yes, there are. Steel has the BR800s out now. But because I bought the top of the line back then, my blower is still decent and works great. I am not a big brand guy and there are lots of good ones to choose from. Steel is great, Echo is great. Those are the two brands that I see the most on landscaping trucks during the summer and I gotta think those guys know what's up. Whatever brand you decide on, I'd encourage you to try to stretch to the higher end models. You will not be disappointed. I'm blowing all the leaves away from my house and out onto the lawn where they are easier to deal with. I'm getting the decks cleared out and lightly running through the flower beds too. Blowers are so good at this detail work and the handheld leaf vacs that I'm sure you've seen, they just won't work on bigger tasks like this. The collection bags tend to fill up really fast and frequent emptying, uh, that kind of sucks. Clearing out mulch beds is quick and easy with a leaf blower and one lap around the house is all it takes to move everything out and away from the foundation, away from the mulch beds and landscaping and preparing for the next step of picking the leaves up. Next, I focus on the driveway and I'm going to make a few passes up and down on each side. The theme is similar though. I'm trying to get the leaves off of the driveway and out into the lawn. I'm spending just a little bit of time out by the fence. I think it's poor form to blow your leaves out into the street street <laughs> but I think we all have that one neighbor that still does it anyway. I'm in the yard now and still doing blower work. I'm making passes around all the hard to mow around objects like the cedar fence, my neighbor's chain link fence, and making laps around the base of each tree. I'm trying to make the next steps with a mower go a bit faster by doing a little bit of prep work and getting the leaves just kind of away from all the objects. Temps are in the high 30s and low 40s so the grass itself really isn't growing much. Once I hop on the mower, it's all about leaf pickup so I can get the leaves away from the hard to maneuver objects. Then I can make my passes with the mower a lot faster. And because it's so cold here in the great Midwestern state of Minnesota, I'm wearing a heated jacket in most of this video. I have two that I've been testing and playing around with. One's a Milwaukee, yes, the popular tool company, that Milwaukee. And I have a review on that jacket and I'll link it here for you if you're thinking about buying one or if you've seen them in the stores and wondered if they're actually good or not, check out that video. Uh, spoiler alert, I was not a big fan and was very surprised by the jacket uh, in a bad way. You can check out the link if you want more information. I'm finished with the blower and I'll give you a chance to take a quick look at things with this first step complete. As you can see, I have cleared a small area around all the objects, trees, fences, and the driveway. Again, I do this so that once I hop on the mower, it's easier to make my passes quickly and I'm not wasting time trying to maneuver around 20 trees. I'm on to step two in my three-step process and that step is collecting the leaves with my lawn sweeper. Now I must 
say, this tool is amazing, plain and simple. It's great. It's a series of brushes that spin and sweep up the leaves in a collection hopper, and it works really well. I don't want to oversell it and use the term life-changing, but I don't want to undersell it either. These things really are incredible. If there was one tool that dramatically changed my leaf cleanup strategy, it's this beast hands down. I'm using the AgriFab sweeper and I'd highly recommend it. I got it from Amazon a few years back and it really has held up pretty well. Remember that there will be a link to the exact one that I have in the video description if you want more info. AgriFab also has great customer support and you can buy the parts individually if you wear things out like the brushes or in my case, I have a habit of burning out the wheels and I actually have a video about how to fix a sweeper that no longer sweeps. I'll add a link up in the corner for that one too. A few of these action shots should have you convinced that these things are legit. I mean, they just pick up so many leaves in such a short amount of time. I have another video that goes over the sweeper in a little bit more detail, and that'll be linked in this video for you if you want more information or want to do the deep dive on the lawn sweeper itself. Now, right about at this part of the video is when all the comments start coming in about mulching and how I should just be mulching all of these leaves and I must be an idiot for not mulching and how they mulch and it's so great and how I'm a bad person for not mulching and I'm robbing my lawn of essential fertilizers by picking up the leaves instead of mulching them and on and on. Seriously, I've gotten every one of those comments in my other fall leaf cleanup videos. Those pro mulch types really go hard in the comments. And here's my take on mulching. Mulching is great if your property supports it. What I mean by that is that if you have a smaller yard or just don't have a lot of tree coverage, mulching can be great. Heck, that's what I would be doing. <laughs> the problem comes in when you have so many trees dropping so many leaves that mulching just is not an option for you. You can only mulch down so far and when you have massive amounts of leaves, it just doesn't work that great. All that leaf confetti that gets made eventually gets wet due to rain and then just becomes matted down areas that turn into dead spots. How do I know it doesn't work for me? Because I tried it. Listen, I'm extremely lazy and mulching sounded like a great idea. What happened was the leaves were so thick that even in their mulch form, they completely covered the grass. So mulching is a great solution if you don't have tons of trees, but I do have tons of mature trees in my yard and they simply drop too many leaves to keep up with for mulching. I do mulch going into fall and right before winter if it makes you feel any better. But in the peak of fall season when these leaves are dropping fast, not going to happen. My process with the sweeper is to run laps around the yard and start grabbing hoppers full of leaves. Remember that I've cleared the leaves away from all the trees, so this step goes a lot faster. I usually start with the brushes on the sweeper raised up a bit. Nothing too aggressive. Once I get the bulk of the leaves, then I drop those brushes down and start going after perfection. You can see me doubling back there and throwing some super sweet stripes in there for style points. You gotta love it. One comment I always get about the lawn sweeper is, can it pick up sticks? Ah, uh, hell yeah, dude. I pick up sticks, pine needles, and if I'm feeling really naughty, I drop the brushes down and I go after the acorns. In fact, it not only picks up sticks, I'd say it's amazing at picking up sticks. I have a collection of branches in my arms of all the crap that falls out of these trees, and if you have big mature trees, you know the struggle is real. Keep in mind, this isn't some sales promo ad where I find the smallest stick and make the product look good. Nah, bro, I got the big dogs for this test. I found the straight up branches bordering on logs to show you how this thing works because I do have a strategy. First, I try to run over the sticks and I do that with the front wheels in an attempt to break them up and make them smaller. As you saw, there are some big burly sticks that I'm gonna be trying to pick up and I use the mower to bust them up a bit. Once I get them with the front wheels, I try to also hit them with the back wheels too. Then just center up the sweeper and bam! Got him. Most times I get the stick I'm going after on the first pass. It's always satisfying to hear that thud in the hopper when I collect the stick I was aiming for. Sometimes I have to loop back and go over the area again, but you can pick up almost anything with a sweeper, even thick branches. Every stick you saw me holding in my arms was scattered on the grass and I picked up every single one of them, no problem. 
The lawn is looking fairly clean at this point and most of the leaves are picked up after I'm done with the sweeper step. One thing I haven't talked about yet is emptying the leaves when the hopper fills up. I'm super lucky that I have woods off to the side of my yard that I can just blow leaves into. So that's what I do. I dump all the loads as close to the woods as I can. Then I get that blower back in action and blow the entire pile into the woods. By next year, all the leaves will have broken down and it'll look like the piles were never really there in the first place. The third and final step in my process is putting the bagger back on the mower, dropping the deck down low and making a final pass while trying to suck up any remaining leaves that are left behind. I usually make another quick lap with the blower to get things away from trees again, like I did in step one, except faster because, well, there's less leaves at this point. Doing the bagger as the final pass lets me basically run over the whole yard without having to empty it once. Like I said earlier, the grass really isn't growing that fast and most of the leaves are picked up already, so collection is minimal, but it does do a great job at getting that final clean yard look dialed in. If you don't have a lawn sweeper and just have a bag I have a video that shows you how I can clean up heavy leaves in the yard using only the bagger and the mower. The problem with leaves and baggers is generally speaking they fill up really fast and need to be emptied repeatedly so it takes forever. Also the chute itself likes to clog instantly if the leaves are anything over light coverage. My method has a workaround for that and the video will be linked in the corner if you want to check it out. I've got some sweet after shots of the yard all cleaned up and it's looking great. I love leaf cleanup in the fall because underneath all those brown leaves is bright green grass and it's fun to get it looking good again. Now the downside as you all know is that my yard is going to look good like this for maybe 12 hours possibly a full day if the wind doesn't blow. <laughs> I love the fall season, but leaf cleanup is a part-time job for me. I do this process basically every weekend for two months straight before the leaves start to let up. What can I say? I guess I just like the pain. Hopefully with this process, you can quickly pick up leaves in your yard and still have time to get out to the apple orchard with the family. If you liked this video, think about subscribing to the channel. I post content like this all the time. And if you have any tips and tricks, or you think I missed a step, or maybe you have a tool that you really like, let me know about it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.